There goes Ever Hearts. So as Nathan was just saying, he's going to go out back and pull some trees. Curtis is uh, going to head out. I think he's got basketball today, but I think they're going to. He's going to go out and help him pull trees as well. And I'm going to head to Bellevue to go do some boundaries today. So we'll see you guys there. Hey guys, Ron Trader here. I just got up to Bellevue. I left from Preston it's a little bit ago, and as you guys can see. I got the side-by-side -side out today. Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going around all of our fields and marking boundaries. We've got about 300 acres left of that. When I say what I mean when I'm marking boundaries, we got a GPS globe on top. We got a monitor on our on our side-by-side. -side, and we're basically just going around over all of our fields and uh, marking everything down to the sub-inch accuracy. Just so we can, uh, don't ever have to use anything, don't plant or spray anything more than what we want. So if we actually accidentally go outside of our map boundary, it'll shut everything off. So be very good for saving money and saving chemical. And yeah, so I'll see you. Hope you guys enjoy. This thing's really simple to run. I mean, all we got to worry about is this bar right here. So this tells you how accurate we are. Right, and right now we're at four inches, so four inch accuracy. All we got to do is type in our grower, our farm, and our field. So right now it's Pat Hartung at Andrew in our middle field. So I'll be changing that to Bellevue. Then all we gotta do once we get up there, get up and ready to start, we just hit this record boundary and we start. So it's a pretty simple operation, guys. Pretty simple to do and all you just gotta do is just drive around the fields and not stay too, get not, and you can't get too cold. I mean, it's, as you guys can probably tell, it's about 38 degrees and it's windy outside. set to the left and I'm just driving with my left tire right on the edge of the field as you can maybe see it's marking that left side and this is just a little two acre patch my dad rents so as I was trying to say back on that cold and windy day is that we are mapping boundaries for the first time on our farm this is going to be a big step that we are taking, working with precision ag technologies and being more efficient with all of our inputs. When we have all of these boundaries in place, there are three big benefits that we will get from them. The first is that we already have our first two passes in our sprayer, tractor, or combine mapped out for us. Those will be our headlands. All we have to do is tell the GPS how big our equipment is and the piece of equipment will outline the field by itself using GPS technology. The second thing that we will get from our boundaries is saving money from seed cost. Previously, we planted straight through all of our waterways knowing that our seed would never grow. The problem was that our 24 row planter is so big that my uncle could not drive the machine, operate the planter normally, and shut off all of those rows while going through each waterway. That would just be too much. So we plan on saving a significant amount of seed cost, especially on some of our farms that have over 20 waterways. And the last thing that we will save is time. This past winter we invested in our first self-propelled sprayer. And this sprayer has the ability to shut off each nozzle individually. Previously we had to drive our old tractor and sprayer around each waterway, but now we can just go straight through them. If you guys would want me to go into more detail on why boundaries are going to be great on our farm, let me know in the comment section below. And I just finished up with my third field of the day, and I'm going to quit because of the rain. Well, I stayed out here a little long. It's starting to rain pretty good. It's not the rain was so much, it's the wind, and I'm driving, I'm driving east right now, and the wind is just blowing straight west, and it's just 
I had to drive like this, just barely cover my eyes. But I'll get home, but yeah, definitely stayed out a little too long. I just want to take this time to tell everyone thank you so much for all the support. This channel is about you guys and what you all want. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you want more videos that are edited or more raw videos explaining what we do and the day-to-day -day operations. I look forward to hearing what you guys think. We got a seed drill and our old 1066 back here on it. We also got my grandpa's first tractor he ever bought. It's an old John Deere Model 8 styled, so I know it's probably either late 30s, early 40s. Uh, Alrighty, hit off the rain. We can take this thing home back to Preston on on Wednesday when I come up again, so better make sure she starts. First right up after sitting all winter. This is an old, one of our 1066s. Use it for just about anything from a PTO to raking, seeding. Whatever needs to be done. Well, thanks again, everyone. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram at Hartung Family Farms. And we'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.